Okay. I literally just got back from the food pantry, guys. I have my heat on. Today is the first day it has been above 30. And as you can see, it's cold in here. Um, and the minute you turn the heat off, it is cold. So um, I'm just going to get into this. I'm not going to talk a whole lot. I am um, because it has been like 30 below zero with the wind chill. So um, it just is what it is. And <laughs> I'm going to go through the food pantry haul. We're not going to linger. Um, and I, I singed my hair somewhere. I don't think it was a whole lot lighting my heater. My heat is right here. I'm safe. I'm warm. I'm toasty. Um, food pantry was closed. The ice, the snow, the fridgy cold, and my car's not starting because it doesn't like the cold to begin with. And then you add to it, um, an old battery and it just doesn't want to start. And I don't want to push the battery. I don't want to push the motor with it being so cold. So I, I didn't need to go anywhere. Couldn't go anywhere. Even today, the gravel roads were so slick and icy. Um, I had Alan drive me. So we're just going to go ahead and get into this and you're going to see my breath. I mean, I literally turned the heat on and Turn the phone on. You're actually propped up. That's why I'm sitting the direction I am. I don't have my stand um, setting up. So we're going to do the toiletries. What I got this month is a roll of toilet paper. And of course, the Earth Breeze. Now I watched a video or a commercial on TV. You can't just buy these in the store, supposedly. They say that you only are able to get these like through a subscription and they come to your house every month or however often you order them to come. Um, I could have sworn I saw these in Walmart though. I'm going to have to look, but these are pretty good. Um, even extremely hard water. Um, I am, I'm strictly a Tide person to begin with and I have issues with with uh stuff but um anyways we're just gonna go ahead and do this so i did get a dozen eggs last month they had uh eggs break so i was like 11 eggs so we got a dozen eggs i'm gonna set them right there because they're gonna go into the refrigerator in there um because things in here are wanting to freeze obviously <laughs> Um, they're just, it, this is not a four seasons camper, so it, it's going to get cold. And there are so many people that live in campers and I didn't get this camper set up quick enough to, you know, have it completely weatherized roof, um, everything. I am going to work at getting a, um, some kind of an awning but awnings for campers are like you're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just say it it's a lot of money i don't know where to start so i'm just gonna grab a bag and go okay so this is a little bit of frozen and whatever <laughs> it looks like they were just bagging so i've got a bag of frozen corn which i really like the frozen stuff um for making soups with. So there's a bag of frozen cold kernel corn. And then I have a snack bag full of bags of goldfish, which I love these. They're great, just grab and go. I'll set them there. I got a really massive, oh my gosh, I love Otis Funk in my a big old fat chocolate chip, chocolate cookie. So we got that. I must have grabbed the snack bag. Then we got these Nature Valley mini sweet and salty nuts. These used to be my go-to, but I can't eat nuts and I can't eat oats. So um, I'll just give them to Alan. And there's several in here. There's like um, four of those. And then we have some 
um, Snickers. There's a couple of Snickers. There's like three Snickers. And there's actually two of those really big chocolate chip cookies. That'll be for coffee. Oh, there's four Snickers. And then we have, uh, they call them corn biscuits, like corn checks. I'm just going to set that right there out of the way of the heater. I need to move my frozens away from the heater too while I'm at it. I'm laying plastic down because I don't want nothing gooey to get on my carpet. Um, because this next bag is some more frozen things. I have some stra frozen strawberries. There is one, two, three. And then I got a bag of frozen sweet cherries, which are great to make pies with. I got some sliced peaches, which, oh my gosh, you know what? Peach cobbler sounds really good right now. So I'm going to set this bag back here. It can go out to the freezer. Well, that's a small one. This bag took a little tumble into the mud. Well, not really into the mud. It's just everything's starting to thaw. So there's like a layer of ice and it's like muddy like mud on top of it so I just need to wipe it off or just take them out of there and throw them in the freezer um so they're Hawaiian Queens uh Hawaii, King's Hawaiian sliders so as a package of those I tried to wipe it off and all it did was smear so um I need to get them repackaged and put in the freezer I did get which is unusual I got a whole bag of potatoes guys I do have one that's really, really soft that needs to come out. But yes, I got some potatoes. And something I want to do is make some egg bites. So um, I should have bought some sausage when I was at Walmart today. Maybe when I go to town tomorrow um, and check my mail because I haven't felt good. And I really was like, Alan, let's just go home. I don't feel good. <laughs> so... Um, when I go back to town, I want to make some egg cups, you know, where you take the scr make scrambled eggs and you, you put all your stuff in it like you would an omelet with your eggs and your onions and your whatever meat and cheese. And you put it all in, mix it all up. You put it in your, in your cups, your like cupcake cups, and you put it in the oven and you bake it. And then you can throw them in the freezer and you just grab one or two and heat them up in the morning for your breakfast and they're ready to go. And I actually got a whole bunch of onions today. So that's amazing. Um, I will tell you, a lot of people didn't get to the food pantry. So there's a lot of like stuff like this where normally I'd get only like one onion or two potatoes or something like that. I'm seeing um, different uh, way things are kind of put in here. And then we got some shredded carrots. Um, I like to take carrots, cook them down, and then mash them with a little bit of salt and butter. I put them usually through my blender. I have a little food blender thing. So it's probably what I'll do with those. I have some mustard. Greens. Hmm. I've never cooked mustard greens, but there's some mustard greens. I'm not sure how they'll go for me, so I may pass these on. My stomach has been in a huge flare, so I'm being extremely careful of what I eat. And then we have a all American sub. And then we have a um, something in cheese. It just looks like a vegetable and cheese snack pack with dip. It's got, um, I'll turn it around so you can see the rest of what's in there. Pretty cool. That's kind of damp on the back. I don't want that on my carpeting. I'll put it under the bag. And then we have three bananas that should be put in maybe some ice cream or something. 
a per couple purple onions, um, an orange. I'll cut this up or open this up and drop it in my uh, water. And then a green pepper. That can go in my, um, what do you call it? Oh, that's what's making this bag wet. This is dripping. Um, this is why I put everything on plastic. Uh, watermelon. So, there is that. Let's uh, keep that on that plastic bag. We'll do just like that, and it's double plastic. I'll put it over here on that carpet. And then we have another bag. And we got nuts. We have almonds. I bet you can guess what's in here. Walnuts and more walnuts. So there's our nuts. And then um, I showed you these. I'm going to get these out of my way. Pull this box around. We have four of these cinnamon rolls that we've gotten before. Um, they've already started to thaw, but I think they'll be okay frozen because they aren't expanding yet. I did get, this is the beef patty mix. Um, I had someone tell me that they made taco meat with theirs and it was really good. Yes, it was. I, I did tacos with it, put a lot of seasonings and stuff in it, and it turned out, made pretty good tacos. Um, Alan makes his taco meat and puts the refried beans in it, and he bought the refried beans that had the jalapenos in it, so it was good and spicy. Um, it was really good. So we have some broccoli cuts. That's good. I'm thinking broccoli soup. Then we have some what looks to be hamburgers. I'm kind of hot stacking stuff here. We have the Bar S hot dogs. I'm holding stuff like that because my fingers are getting cold, guys. Just so you know. And now we have sheet pan dinner starter. So this is like, um, I guess seasoning packets. Zingy Southwest style. Um, so it just tells you you need the, um, chicken and potatoes and bell peppers and oil. So that's what's in there. And then I have a single serve, um, lasagna. That's good for when it's just me. I got a beef summer sausage. And then I have a skinless, I'm assuming it's chicken or turkey, tenderloin. My glasses are on my face. Chicken. So that's pretty good. Oh, we got some lime jello. I'll make sure I leave that to the top where I can fix it. And then, you know, I don't want to try this. I hear everybody talking about it. It's coconut flour. So I've got some coconut flour. Some pretty cool different things that I've never had before. So, um, let me, let me just kind of study that there. Um, and then, of course, I have some cheese. Elbow macaroni. A big bag of rice. It's like, I think it's a two pound bag. Yes, two pound bag of rice. A box of raisins. We usually get raisins in the winter time. So let me get some of this back down in this box. Okay. And then I have unsweetened applesauce. There's actually like three of these down in here. And then we have some vegetable soup and garbanzo beans, nut and 
butter, peanut butter. Some yellow clean peaches. Some red salmon. A can of applesauce. And then we have some more frozen foods. So let's look at this. We have, is this chili meat, taco meat, pork taco filling fully cooked. So we have that. Ooh. Oh my goodness, guys. We have a big old bag of whiting. Look at this. Well, I know what we're having tomorrow for dinner. I love fish. And my cholesterol, you guys are going to be freaking out, is 287. My bad cholesterol. So, um, it is really high. And part of that is because my stomach doesn't digest. And it's hard when you can't eat, like, fruits and, like, you can't eat most of the fruits and you can't eat hardly any vegetables anymore. So it's hard to take care of things like that that you need to. So um, I did buy some hummus today because I had people say eat hummus because hummus is really good at bringing your cholesterol down. So I did buy some today. This is, is a sausage or fully cooked pork patty. I'm assuming this is like breakfast sausage. It just says pork patty. Pork and soy. Okay, it does not have seasoning, so it's just a pork patty in place of like a hamburger patty. It does not have like, like you would have seasonings for, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like a breakfast sausage. It doesn't have those kind of seasonings in it. So let's go on to the next box. I don't know if this is in date. It is whip dressing. Alan just bought some, paid five something for it. Could you not? That's so funny. And then we have fettuccine, and it's best choice. Um, we have some Kirkland purified water. Um, Alan's water here is, unless you run it through a system, is not drinkable. Um, then we have some pancake syrup. Grape jelly. Whoops, it's stuck. Some whole kernel corn. A can of spaghetti sauce. Um, cut green beans. Premium white chicken. And it's in a envelope like this. I've... I've never had it like this, so that'll be interesting. And then we have Wolf Brand Chili. So there's that. And we have another can of tuna. Did I show you the other can? I don't know. I was talking, but I don't remember if I pulled it out of the box. If I didn't, there was actually two. And then we have a can of chicken and rice soup so double check because i'm kind of out of bounds here so yes i have everything picked up guys thank you so much for watching i'm sorry it's so late this month but with the snow the negative 30 degree weather for like days on end <laughs> um and 
again, I'm toasty warm now. I'm like, you can't see my breath anymore. <laughs> um, and I didn't get my plastic up because I can't get the screws out. And he's been busy with people breaking down and things. And, and I just haven't had help. So I need to get the plastic up. I need to get a curtain up. I need, you know, and then it would be warmer in here. But 30 below zero, it's still in the work. <laughs> um, it has been wicked. Um, but like I said, was it that cold? I did stay in Allen's. Um, I am safe. Like I said, um, we never lost power up here. Uh, and it is just very relaxing here. Um, I did do some jewelry making videos inside. Um, and I do have some pretty cool ones coming up that I've got planned in the books. Um, I probably will leave this video up. I'll put it up this evening and it'll be up all day tomorrow. And then on, um, what is today? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You're going to see something a little different on the jewelry that I've never done before, but I have to play with it. So after I play with it and make sure, then you'll see it. And then I have something else I've been working on. I should be able to get it up and... I got to play with that too. So I've been working on stuff kind of behind the scenes. So um, anyways, guys, also don't forget um, my uh, jewelry Facebook page is Rustic Dragonfly Designs. Go check it out. Everything I make, um, pretty much everything I make is available. And um, this board here, this black that you're seeing beside me. This is full of jewelry. This is what I set up with. So I do need to get it all off from here. And I'm redesigning everything I set up with. So everybody, I love y'all. And I will talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. And let me know what your weather is. Please hit that like. Um, talk. Chat with me. Let me know how your weather has been. How your guys are doing. Because, you know... A lot of people got hit with ice and um, I know around Oklahoma City they got really really bad ice the other night too Monday night Sunday night so I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments bye everybody oh no I gotta reach you <laughs> bye guys